Oh, your road's closed. Oh. <laughs> Already a detour? Is this road closer or what? This may not be a good day. <laughs> Turn around. Go back. So things look a little bit different here today at the camp because we are taking this show on the road. We're going to go bourbon hunting. We're going bourbon hunting in Dayton, Ohio, and we are going to find the best cheap bourbon. With the cost of everything going ridiculous anymore, we decided to see if we can find some good ways to save on our bourbon dollars. So come along with us with a ride. It's early Monday morning and we are on our way to our typical Monday morning spot. Well, it's really Rocky's typical Monday morning spot because I don't like to get up this early on Monday. But this place has a really good bottle drop and the people seem friendly and the lines aren't stupid busy. So this is the one Rocky prefers to come to. I'm usually not with him, but I am this morning so I can hold the camera and bring you guys along. I typically like to stay in bed on Monday mornings because it's the only chance I get to sleep a little bit. So we're headed in there now. It's right up around the corner and we're gonna see how many cars are in the parking lot this morning. That's usually a good indication of how far we're back in line. <laughs> So we waited in line and there wasn't a whole lot of people there, but we did get to go in. There wasn't anything spectacular or none of the, the, you know, the unicorns that people dream of when they're waiting in line, but we did get a couple of good bottles. We got Heaven Hill bottled in bond, which I'm really excited about because I haven't tried it yet. And I've heard it's really good. And then we got uh, Knob Creek nine year, uh, small batch, 120 proof. And I'm excited about that one too. And but now we're gonna go back to our original mission and hit some stores in Dayton and see if we can't find uh, some more affordable bourbons. The stuff that everybody walks by, um, it's there for a reason and it's all bourbon. And we'd like to see if we can try to find some good ones, try to stick to under $20, maybe under 15 if we can find it. And, you know, hey, if they've got it under 10 and it looks pretty good, we'll get that too. And if nothing else, it'll be a mixer and we'll let you know which ones we get. Come along. So here we are coming up on Beaver Valley Wine and Spirits. It's a nice little store and a really nice little shopping mall in uh, Beaver Creek, Ohio on the outskirts of Dayton. So we just got done at Beaver Valley Wine and Spirits and it, it's actually a pretty good store. It has a great uh, selection of the higher end bourbons and and lots of scotches and stuff we walked out of there with three different bottles of bourbon for a total of 35 dollars after tax so we're, we're trying to find out if we can get some good bourbon and and save us some money and hopefully save you some money because these are bourbons that people just walk by every day i mean i'm guilty of it as well kind of the hardest part about looking for the lower end uh bottom shelf bourbons is honestly at my age is squatting down to get them but uh, let's go find out what we can get at the other locations we're gonna head over there now um, I think we're heading to I don't know let's go let's find a place <laughs> <laughs> let's get moving <laughs> all right okay so we made up our mind we're going to Arrow Wine and Spirits um, over by the Dayton Mall and this is actually one of the bigger stores in Dayton um, so we're going to go see what they've got um, and see if they have an, a better selection of uh, more affordable bourbons. Of course, it started raining on our, on our trip to Arrow Wine, but you know, I guess that means it's a good day to be going inside and going shopping, especially for bourbon. I mean, there's not a bad day to go shopping for bourbon, but you know. This is Arrow Wine and Spirits. It's a pretty big store. I've been in there before and I can say that it's a really nice store inside. We'll take you in, get a couple shots in there so you can see what it's like, and we'll see if they've got some good affordable bourbon. We've got Tornado Sirens. Tornado Sirens, uh, first of, uh, first Monday of the month at noon, they do a test, so it's kind of usual, but it's still spooky. I hate these things. <laughs> Okay, so we just came out of Arrow. We got two bottles and some uh, pickleback mixer, which the hilarious part of the pickleback mixer is that we got that on like the worst of intentions. We are like, let's just see what it is. Uh, it's probably gonna be horrible. It ended up being some of the best mixers we've gotten. And uh, if you're gonna do picklebacks, definitely use the Van Holtzen's pickleback mixer. It is 100% something I will recommend to anybody. 
but we did and you get don't, you don't have to eat all the pickles right you don't have to eat any pickles to get it <laughs> which i like pickles but i don't want to eat that much pickles. right and we love picklebacks so we're definitely gonna be partying with that later so we did get a couple of bottles one that um i haven't seen before and i really am excited to try it's evan williams 1783 small batch american hero edition it's 90 proof but it was under 20 bucks it was 19.99 and uh, it qualified for the affordable bourbon and I'm really excited to try it because I haven't seen it before. So we're coming in on the Little Farm uh, liquor store in West Carrollton, Ohio, which is technically just on the outskirts of Dayton. It's still Dayton, but the greater Dayton area. I've actually never been in this store, so I'm really excited to go in there. I've driven by here a thousand times and have never gone in. Good Looks old. like a really big store, but I've heard that it's not that big inside, so. Let's go see what they got. So we just got out of Little Farm and it's a really nice store, great selection. It's got a good amount of bourbon in there. We got two bottles, a uh, Kentucky Gentleman, which was a liter for $10.49. I mean, that price is ridiculous. <laughs> Hopefully it's worth it and it's not complete crap. That's but gonna be great. at the very least, it's gonna be a good party liquor. Um, and then Jesse James Outlaw Bourbon, which that was seven, uh, 750 for 1591. So it was a little bit more expensive. Hopefully it's worth it. Now we're gonna go to another one and see what we can find again there. So we are pulling into the other Arrow Wine location here in Dayton. It's a little bit smaller of a store than the other one, but it usually has a really good selection. So we're gonna go check it out. There's Whistle Pig State Oak Rye. $2.99 and we got some 12 year. It's gonna break the budget. <laughs> Old tub at $21.99. Really close. So we are here at our next stop, uh, Belmont Party Supply. It is just your good old classic neighborhood liquor store in, in Dayton and it used to be known for the one that stayed open the latest. Not certain if that's still the case, but let's go check out what they got. Okay, so we got a couple more bottles at uh, Belmont Party Supply. Uh, we got a liter of Beams 8 Star for $9.49. Um, not sure how that's gonna go, but we're gonna give it a shot. And then we found one from Sazerac called Big House Bourbon. And it was, uh, I think it was a small batch, wasn't it? It was cheap batch. Right. <laughs> well, it was on the higher end of today's budget for $19.99. But when I saw that Sazerac, made it i had to pick it up i mean it was within the rules and then i had to give that a shot so we'll let you know we're on to our next place so our next stop is handy one liquor stores we've definitely been in this one quite a bit and we're gonna see what they got so we found an interesting one at, at handy one it's called rebel kentucky straight bourbon and it's made by lux road distilleries it was a little bit on the top end of the cheap budget at $18.99, which I think was like a little bit over 20 bucks with tax. I'm really excited about this one. Sometimes you can find some really interesting ones out of the blue. We're definitely gonna be popping this one open later. Well, let's be honest, for like five more dollars, you could get a Weller Special Reserve. So these are gonna have to be pretty good. These are gonna have to be pretty good. Yeah, they got, they got tough competition. To make it not worth spending a little extra. A little bit more, if you can find it. And you know, Ohio is kind of known as the land of Weller and people think it just rains out of the liquor stores. Oh but... yeah, we, we, <laughs> we water the lawn with it around here. I'm gonna water my lawn now. Not true. <laughs> if it's anything, it's more like a thunderstorm where it's hard and fast and it's coming out and then it's gone. So uh, there are a little bit of dry spells with, with Weller around here. Which is happening right now. Right. Completely dry. Completely dry, no Weller. Nowhere. It is not raining. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. We decided to go a little bit further outside of Dayton, but it's still considered the greater Dayton area. This is Fairborn Spirit. We're going to go see what they got. So it just happened to be Fairborn Spirit's uh, bottle drop day today, uh, which means they got their shipment from the state. And they pretty much had what Xenia Liquors had this morning. So we decided to let somebody else have their turn at that. They really didn't have much else that we haven't seen in the other places. So that was a little bit of a bust, but that's okay. Not every place is gonna have something that you wanna get. Did go ahead and pick up some good beer. So we're on to the next spot. Second thought. We're gonna go grab some food because it's just about 2.30 in the afternoon and we've been bourbon hunting all day. So 
We're gonna go get something to eat. Unfortunately, I have to go to the dentist today. I don't think there's a liquor store <laughs> close <dentist> enough <laughs> to the dentist office. <laughs> but we'll see. Pit stop. To, yeah, you know, yeah. fun pit stop. So we ended up having Mexican food, had some tacos, uh, and then Rocky went to the dentist, so he won't be talking for the rest of this video. <laughs> we are on our way to the next spot, and it is called Manor Wine and Spirits. We're gonna see what they got, and we'll let you know. We just left Manor Wine and Spirits. What a great store, had fabulous people. Uh, we were not able to find any bourbon because most of the stuff they had was great bourbon. They had a good selection, but it was a little bit over our budget for today. Uh, and the stuff that they had that was affordable was, um, was stuff we already got from other places. We were tempted with a bottle of tequila and I had to pick that up. And then, of course, Rocky found the weirdest bottle in the store. It's called Shanky's Whip, so I'm gonna have to try that now, too, because he likes to find weird stuff and try it, even if um, it's really weird. So we're on our way to our next stop. We're heading to our last stop for the day and it is Fine Wine and Spirits in Kettering, Ohio, another suburb of Dayton. And we're gonna see what they've got. We are getting stocked up on either a whole lot of hangover or some good affordable bourbon. We don't know yet, but we'll let you know which. So we just got out of Fine Wine and Spirits in Kettering and they had a great selection, but they didn't really have, have anything that we hadn't seen for the affordable price range. There were some that were just, just past, but they didn't make it. Right now we had to call it a day to the hunt because we are headed over to a local Queen of Hearts drawing and hopefully going to win ourselves $176,000 to add to this bourbon budget and we can go chase all the big unicorn bourbons. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely gonna win. When we cross win. your fingers. <laughs> we already won. <laughs> right. You got you have to go into right. the right I'm mindset. Sorry. I, I we got already okay. won. Got and I have half of it spent. Right. <laughs> 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 On probably the weirdest crap he can find. So anyway, we're gonna go there. We're gonna have a couple of drinks and then we're gonna wrap this back up at the camp. So we made it back to the camp and we're pretty tired. We did not win 176,000. So it's even more important now that we focus on finding some good affordable bourbons. All said and done, we brought 13 budget bourbons home with us. There was an additional one that we thought was a bourbon until we got it back here to the camp. And it snuck in because it was a blended whiskey. It is still an extremely inexpensive whiskey, but it's not technically a bourbon. The first one I want to talk about is Rebel 100. This we got for $19.99 before tax. It comes from Lux Row. And I'm. this is one of the ones I'm really excited about because it comes from Lux Row, and I know that distillery is a good quality distillery. I'm hoping they didn't skimp on the quality of the bourbon just to pull the price down. I'm hoping it's, a, it's just young. It's 100 proof, so yeah. we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. And the next one up is the Wild Turkey, 81 proof. Nice. This one is $18.99, and you can't go wrong with Wild Turkey. I mean, everybody knows it, we all love it. And then we have another Rebel. This is, I believe that's an 81 proof? 80 proof. 80 proof. Also, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Kentucky Straight Bourbon. It's it's from Lux Row still, so I'm excited about that one as well. Uh, next one up is good old old granddad. We've had a couple of old granddad. They're a little bit rough around the edge, but you know sometimes that's what you're looking for. So I'm also looking forward to that one. The next one up we found. I was super excited when I found this one. It was $19.99, so it was just snuck in there under that $20 per ta before tax price. But it is Big House Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This, when I looked and turned this bottle over, 
It's made by Sazerac, so super excited by this one. Could be out of Buffalo Trace, maybe. It could, it could be. Or not. Right. But is that, what proof is that one? This one's 90. 90, so okay. We're so that a go. quality proof cool. from Sazerac. I got high hopes for that one. Uh, next one up I, we found was Kentucky Gentleman. Now this one, Hilarious. yeah, this one was dirt cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a full liter and it was 1049. I don't have a ton of hopes for this, but I'm not gonna judge that before I put my, put this in a glass. Just not. Uh, it uh, could be great. Uh, I have, I, I've been surprised before, so. All right, so 80 proof, moving yeah. on. Next one uh, is Jesse James. This right. one was a little bit higher. This was 1591 um, before tax. And it's the, I think it's the American Outlaw bourbon. So, oh, yeah. you know, it's got a nice, Cool name. 80 proof. Uh, yeah. It's out of California. Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, California. I'm pulling for you. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, and the next one, I actually found this one. I was really excited. We, we saw it in a couple different places, but I, I you know, I really I'm, have high hopes for this one. This is the Evan Williams 1783 American Hero Edition. It says it's a small batch, it's a 90 proof. It, it's Evan Williams, so again, this is a quality distillery, so I have a lot of good hopes that they didn't just, you know, give us the, the bottom of the barrel, so to speak, <laughs> and gave us a quality bourbon for less expensive. We'll see. Next one I have is 10 High. 10 now, high. this is, is that a liter bottle? It's a liter, well. Okay. Yes, okay. liter. <laughs> it's a liter, so more value. Again, to, to the price, additional value. Rock bottom prices here at ten twenty nine for a liter. Uh, I, you know, I, like I said, I, I am not one to judge a bourbon before I try it. So you know, hey, I, you may not have high hopes for this stuff, yeah. but it is being sold and people are buying it. So and so it's it bottled by the Barton Distilling Company. Sa see? We have Sazerac.com. So who knows? We'll see where it comes, or it's just commodity right. and coming out of somewhere. And we'll check it out. You know, it, it's still at the end of the day, they're all bourbon, and we know that they have rules that they have to go by. So you know, I mean, how? Uh oh, I almost said it. How bad could it be? Oh <laughs> no! Ah, uh, none of it. Oh, okay, Let's go. Old Crow is up next, there and we this go. is another liter bottle for a rock bottom price of eleven ninety nine. So, which I'm thinking this will be. <laughs> the worst bottle <laughs> only because I've heard Old Crow is horrible. I, I've heard it's bad, but I don't know. I it actually has a have reputation. A, pretty much I've never had any of these. Right. Because we pass them <laughs> so, over. We we yeah. we just yeah. never buy them. That's what I, we're gonna try. First of it. all, at my age I can't squat low enough to see some of these. So <laughs> We'll see how they turn out. And, and I'm really hoping that if the, I don't like it in the glass that I can just add some Coke to it and I'll like it that way. Uh, Benchmark 8 is the next oh, one. Yeah. Now this, this, gonna one, be good. this we, one I have high hopes for. Yeah. This one is $11.99. It's, I mean, a really nice price and it's got a good reputation. It's a quality bourbon, hopefully. And it's just as good as its other bottles. And we've had full proof and some yeah. of the others yeah, from yeah. Benchmark. So, I'm and really we, we enjoy those, so we're, I'm assuming it's gonna be good. Right, I, mean, I, I got my fingers crossed on that one. I'll be disappointed if it's not. Uh, we did find the next one up was Kentucky Tavern, yep. which is a, a special reserve. Um, this one comes out of Louisville out of Glenmore Distillery. I don't recognize that name. I'm hoping it's not one of those generic ones that comes out of a big major um, distillery, but again, I, I try not to judge any bourbon before I put it in my mouth. So, yeah. um, and then Got we it. have um, Quality House. Now, again, we have another liter bottle for ten forty nine. There we go. That's so, what we're talking about. Now, I what, I will tell you that when we got the receipt after we purchased this one, the receipt said Heaven Hill. But, right as. That's all it said was that, Heaven Hill. That's all it said was Heaven Hill. So either they're trying to lie to me, <laughs> and this is one of those ones like 10 High where I just hope that it's good with 
Coke. <laughs> it is out of Bardstown, Kentucky. Yeah, so. see, and, it, and they're so coming we'll out of we'll good see. areas, so I really do. I, I have a lot of high hopes for all of these because you know, like like we said before, prices are up on just about everything out there. Okay, the one that oh. snuck in that that we beams. didn't pay close enough attention to beams. was Beam 8. Is it Beams 8? Beams 8 Star. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, we, you know, Beams, we Kentucky, <laughs> bottled in Kentucky, in Claremont, Frankfurt. I mean, it's in the area of Beam. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Where we, we got, assumed we got we caught assumed. up in the name. We thought it was a beam product. It may be, but we'll check it out. We'll find out. And if somebody knows, I, I'm sure there's people that know yeah. who makes some of these. Just let us know. I oh, mean, yeah. throw it in the comments because <laughs> some of the stuff is hard to figure out. Right. But I, I know that somebody. Knows. One we, of you is we, gonna know. We know. We know how that works. And. That's just a blended whiskey. It's not technically a bourbon, but again, I think they're just slapping a label on some of these, so who knows. Yeah. We did fall prey to some of the temptation in a couple of the different liquor stores. Manor in particular, we ended up buying two very unique bottles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the first one is Shanky's. Shanky's Whip, made in Ireland. It's, I mean, first of all, Look at the bottle. It's a neat looking it's bottle. It's a cool bottle. We did look it up. We've heard it rumored that it tastes something like Bailey's that's more With alcohol. Um, but it looks interesting. Looks neat. And I'm I'm, I'm having into, I'm into I'm into checking out this stuff. I like <laughs> I, I enjoy it. I'm okay. having memories of Malort and it's scaring me a little bit. <laughs> we will see. I am Chinese. going to give it a shot. The next one, I, cause I, you know, here at the camp, we love all things liquor. So I bought a nice bottle of tequila that came recommended by the person behind the counter, highly recommended. They actually said that this was less expensive and better than Patron. So I've got high hopes for this. I mean, it's not hard to be better than Patron. No, I know, I mean, but, it, but this, he said this was his favorite and he seemed convincing enough that I bought it, so. Yeah. And it's a cool bottle. Um, and then we, we got another uh, refill bottle of our favorite pickleback mixer. I think it's Van Halsen or something. Van Holtens. Van See, Holtens. I was close. Pickleback. <laughs> For picklebacks. And if you like pickleback shots, this is the best one I can tell you to get. We don't have to have a jar of pickles in here. We can easily pour this and get our picklebacks quick. So. And we can use these with this, <laughs> if it's that bad, yes. to get it down. Yes. I mean, keep it simple. And early in the morning, we went to our uh, weekly Monday bottle drop. They didn't have a ton and it was kind of soft, but we did get a couple that I am excited about. Heaven Hill Bottled in Bond. Which we haven't tried. I haven't tried it, we no. Tried. I'm looking forward we, to that we one. We hear that's great, so we're gonna try that. And then Knob Creek Nine Year Special Reserve, and this is 120 proof, so. It's the big proof. I, I, like, I like the big barrel proofs, so I'm really, I'm looking forward to that one as well. Thanks for joining us here at the camp. Please always remember to drink responsibly. <laughs> Let's pop it. All right, let's do it. Let's let's try this one right now. Let let's, me grab you some glasses. This is gonna be this is going to be the best. All right, y'all. That is not bad. It's not great. It's not super great. It's not but great. That is it's not, not bad. It's not bad.